Finally, I'm going to talk about, uh, about briefly about the graphs in the SAS. So, in the SAS, the old method is the using the prop GC chart, uh, G chart. Um, so it creates a vertical or horizontal bar chart and pie charts on here. Um, you can get the frequency or cumulative frequency percentage or cumulative percentage sums and means and you can use either numeric and character variable in this plot. And if you have the SAS um, desktop version, you can still use the proc, proc, proc G chart on here. Um, so it's called proc G chart is the your proc structure and the data set and you can specify H bar, H bar is 3D, V bar, so H bar is a horizontal bar, the V bar is a vertical bar, and the pi is the pi chart, and you can specify run. So, I mean, this is quite old method, so here I'm going to introduce the more modern one, which is the PROC SG plot. So, PROC SG plot is a modern SAS plot for data visualization. So, here I would like to use the uh, uh, data set about the 26 auto bars with the, their company, MPG, repair record weight, and their car is foreign or domestic. And here, so we have data, and we, if you pre print the data, then you can get the result. And we can create a scatter plot. So we already look at the scatter statement in SGPlot. So we have two read arguments are required. So x equal to variable, y equal to variable. So for this scatter plot, uh, you can see that the if weight increases, the MPG tends to de decrease in here. And then if we want to look at the uh, different groups in this uh, scatter plot by the different groups, then you can specify options. For example, here you can specify, so here I would like to look at the the scatter plot with the different by group by foreign. So whether domestic, either domestic or foreign, I would like to look at the scatter plot of the weight and MPG. So we can specify the group equal to foreign options. Then we can create this uh, scatter plot on here. And for histogram, um, you can you can use a histogram statement. And that's a density variable, density statement uh, to create the uh, usually normal density to overlay uh, that curve, over, overlay the, uh, the, uh, the your histogram. So here, the, I would like to create a histogram of the weight. And here, I have the density curve uh, of the weight on here. Um, and then you can also create a bar chart using this SG plot. So this bar chart, so, so I would like to create a bar chart by make. So here we give the frequencies on here. So we have, say, around the five um, um, cars for AMC and five cars for Audi and etc. And you can specify the H bar to create the um, the, the uh, horizontal bars. And another uh, useful plot is the the high and low uh, plot. Uh, created by high and low statement. So it creates the uh, vertical line connects the high and low ends. And the two values uh, you can specify in the high and low. So you can specify maximum value and high and uh, low and low value and low. And In this plot, you need to specify for a value of the x-axis x by x and y. And then you can use the, the close option to specify the value of has for closing marks. Then that's very useful when you have the final result uh, in the time kind of time series plot. So we have, we would like to get the SAS help stocks data set. So this is the stock prices of the um, IBM or uh, 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 IBM or other companies and has, has uh, different uh, dates and we have open so when you open the stock market it's the open price high and low and closes the when the stock market closes this is the final price um, so we have stock for IBM here so 
this is only part of the data set so you can actually print out and this SAS help stocks so this stock data set is, is kind is the public data from from the SAS help so you can originally you can get the um, uh, free uh, by uh, uh, from SAS so if I specify X as a date and then put the high as a high uh, for low as low and close equal to close and we put the IBM star market in 2005 so here we can look at that this April has large availability of the uh, open and the, the low and high and that the the stock price is, is decreasing and, 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 and increases again after this April. So this uh, high and low price is quite useful when you have the financial data especially. And the time series data is the, is the so you, for, if you want to plot your uh, data uh, by times and you can use a series statement, so we would like to look at so here we will look at the uh, show stock prices by time. So x equal to variable, y equal to variable. So x is a date, y is in close. So the closing price. So we would like to look at the how closing uh, price stock price changes by date. And then we put the group equal to stock, which is the um, so we put the this stock prices by time. So we can look at the IBM, Intel, and Microsoft in here. So we can see the changes on each uh, company's uh, of the stock market, uh, stock prices. So, and then, so you can use, uh, create a box plot. So we already did many, uh, this plot box plot in many times. So as you know, the box plot, you have the maximum observation and the minimum observation. Um, so in 70, 75th percentile or upper quantile, and then you have mean and median. And then here the lower is 25th percentile, 25th percentile, which is the lower, the lower quantile. And if you have a dot sun here, then they are the outliers. So for creating a box plot, you need to first sort by the sort. So here we would like to create the MPG by make maker, so we sort by uh, make, and then we create a box plot on here, and then you can see the means and then uh, standard deviation. And there's no this uh, whiskers uh, because the um, if you are um. So this 23 percent is, is equal to the maximum, then there's, there may be no whiskers in here. And if there's a whiskers in Chevrolet, and an upper with whiskers in Chevrolet, and then Nissan. So for all the style SAS desk, so if you use the SAS desk, you can specify some options. So you can see skeleton, the whiskers are drawn to the edge of box, to the extreme of the uh, group. And if you specify schematic, then whiskers draws the upper value of the box to the largest observed value within the uh, fence or um, upper fence. So one times five IQR uh, uh, above the 75th percentile. So this character and then the schematic is the difference of the, um, the drawing the whiskers. So this schematic is used, you can specify the um, limit uh, for the outlier. So 1.5 times occur over the 75th percentile. So if you remember the basic statistic, 1.5 time, times 5, 1.5 times IQ above the 75th percentile is the uh, is the uh, the out the limit for outlier. So if your observation is greater than 75th percentile plus 1.5 times IQR, then the that's the outlier for the as an upper extreme. And if you have observation um, which is below the 75 IQR, uh, uh, I mean 25th percentile minus 1.5 IQR, then th that is the, the lowest uh, the 
the lower extremes. So this schematic option, you can specify the um, limits for the outliers. And the observation outside for fencers are identified as pair symbol. And you can specify a shape of colored for this symbol with the ID symbol and ID color options. Default is square. And the box with value specify the width of the box and whiskers plot. And then notice specify the box whiskers plot being uh, notice so it's gonna be uh, uh, this the, the uh, median part is the um, slimmed uh, when you specify the notice uh, options. So this is the um, so so the uh, so the basic introduction of the. Um, uh, for the graphics, I mean, you can Google the uh, advanced graphics for SAS. So, I mean, in the past, the SAS graphic w was not very good, but the after the SAS for the 9.4, their graphic uh, are, are, are noticeably improved. So, I think uh, it is uh, good to use the SAS graphics uh, for your for you for your research if you are interested in.